Okay, the part arrived. Um, here's the broken part, and here is the new part. Now, if you look at the old part, the casting isn't very good. There's a lot of rippling. It looks like the plastic probably wasn't hot enough or something, and it didn't get into the mold correctly. Uh, and then it's 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 glued like it was the guy's first day, and he was about to go on break and didn't know what he was doing. Um, there's just glue everywhere on it. Where the piece that came in, the casting is much better. So pieces come together put in the three screws. So this isn't really seated very well. There we go, it had to click into place with those tabs. Now, I'm having a hard time getting everything lined up. I'm gonna try to get that lined up off camera. So this piece has to go in here and the Pins have to line up, so it's probably better if I approach it this way. There we go, there's the grip for the fingers. I'll put that gear in. I am missing this piece here, which has to go inside there. I'll take it apart. Okay, so this piece here has to go there. And now we can put this back. There's more spring to it now. So I'll go ahead and put those screws back in. So I believe it's this direction. And then this can come through. I'm forgetting something. I'm forgetting this piece again. There we go. So this piece then has to go in here. Um, so this assembly has to come through all these gears. I fixed that issue. This this gear here was backwards. Oh come on, stand up. There you go. This went really easy last time, so that means it's not going to go easy this time. Pick this up. There we go. We can start to assemble this back together. I forgot to take the brushes out of the motor. Um, so I went ahead and did that. Um, and now I can go ahead and assemble it back up. Luckily, the way this is designed, we didn't really have an issue uh, with the brushes coming off the armature and stuff. Uh, so we're, we're pretty good there. So the one thing I want to do, I want to make sure that, that spring gets into the right spot. Go ahead and put the four body screws in. This is the above the height adjustment. So what I'm gonna do is feed that up through. There is a washer, there's an octagon cut out of it. That'll go there. Device will go on. That'll go on. We have the cap P 
piece. That'll go next. And then this. There we go. And there is a small washer and a screw. And it's turning the gear. It's good. This has the gear. That's going to go on this side. Let's try to get this to come down. Whoop. There we go. Okay, so there is this retainer pin that keeps that bottom. It's just this pin, this ring clip here that keeps this entire assembly together. There we go. This spring should go down in there. Be able to come in. And the only thing this screw does is right here it keeps it it keeps this thing from turning and popping out. So I have these four screws here, and I have no idea where those go. So uh, that's good. Um, yeah, that's real good. Well, I'm going to set them aside, and I'm going to go ahead and pull this top off. This is usually mounted to my router table. Ah. These four screws go down here and hold the shroud in place. These will go up and down and uh, the above the table adjustment works again. So we're all good. Let's plug it in and make sure it runs. Well, there we go. It's back up and running. The only thing I have left to do is mount it in the table. Um, and for under $20, I got my router back up and running, which I really am glad for. And I'm glad to see that this is fixable. There's way too much stuff in this world that you can't fix anymore. Uh, and that kind of sucks. Um, so I'm really glad that not only was I able to get parts, but it really wasn't terribly difficult to fix. So, until next time.